perspective, we are going to find determinants, determinants of the matrix. So what is determinants? Uh, determinants is the actually the value calculate from diagonals of a square matrix of a square matrix okay the notation for the term is like a straight line like this this is what we uh, I see that these this is the determinant that's the notation of the determinant like a straight line like a determinant d that's a straight line and uh, uh, the matrix is like a bracket you know the bracket the big brackets but the determinant is just a straight line so let me give you an example for this find d the determinants and I have a D equal 5, 1, negative 1, and 10. So the question is uh, the determinant. Uh, they are asking find the determinant. Determinant is a, okay, let's do a capital D. Find out the determinant for the matrix D. So I said the determinant is the value calculate from the diagonals of a square matrix. So what are the diagonals? This is called a diagonal which is a main diagonal so main diagonal subtract the minor diagonal which one is minor this is minor diagonal so subtract minor diagonal so how do we do it it's gonna go uh, five times 10 is 50 that's what it is minus 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 so it's gonna add so your determinant is 51 you multiply next one is let me give you one more example I have a matrix 2 4 negative 3 and I have a 9 so the determinant is going to be equal main diagonal 9 times 2 is 18 subtract minor diagonal negative 12 so that's going to turn into positive 18 plus 12 the answer is 8 9 10 and 30 so 30 is the determinant for that matrix how do we find, I mean, the 2 by 2 matrix, the 2 by 2 matrix or like the one we just did, um, the square matrix, it's kind of easy. You just multi um, multiply diagonally and multiply the other diagonal and then you um, subtract. But if you have to find the determinant from 3 by 3 matrix, that's a complete different thing so we're gonna go really slow on this because it's too much stuff so I'm gonna go for 3 by 3 matrix 3 by 3 matrix determinant how do we find that so this is kind of really big one so here's an example I have one two three four one six and zero three one zero three one that's my one matrix three by three how do we find the three by three matrix determinant and i already said that determinant mean the minor uh, the determinant 3 by 3 matrix the determinant for 3 by 3 matrix is um, the diagonals so but how do we do the diagonals you're gonna pick the first two columns first two columns okay 
my first two columns are these ones right this one so I'm gonna pick those and I'm gonna write them again here one two four one zero three so that's my uh, first two columns so we picked them and we wrote it down like that now how do we find main diagonal and subtract minor diagonal so main diagonal is going to be the one on the top like start with the top one this is main diagonal so let me write main diagonal is in green okay subtract the minor diagonal okay let's try the green first so main diagonal is these ones are main diagonals so let's try the main diagonals first so i'm gonna go this is my main diagonal one 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 times one times one is one so i got one okay one times one times one is just a one then i have plus next one is two six zero so two times six is twelve twelve times zero is zero plus and it's a plus sign between them third one it's gonna go like this three times four is twelve twelve times three is thirty six so that's my thirty six main diagonal done then I'm gonna have a subtract and make sure you have a parenthesis because this subtraction is gonna distribute. I'm gonna go for the yellow, the minor one. Minor one is always the one in the bottom you start. So I'm gonna start with the bottom. I'm gonna start with the bottom and it's gonna give me zero, one, and three. So zero times one times three is zero. Plus three, six, one. Six times three is 18. Plus how oh, this one is gonna go one one four in two there you go four two so four times two is eight eight times one is eight so this is what i got for the uh, minor one so now i have 36 plus one is 37 minus 18 plus eight eight is uh, 18 plus eight 18 plus 8 times uh, 16 and 26 so we got 26 37 subtract 26 is going to give me 7 subtract 6 is 1 3 and 2 is 1 so 11 so 11 is the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix which is right there okay now let's try one more example i have four two three one one four zero one one so this is my determinant and i am looking for this is my matrix and i'm looking for determine so what we're gonna do we're gonna augment the matrix by copying one and two columns to the right column one and column two to the right so it's gonna go four one zero two one one this is what i got now we're gonna go main diagonals which start from the top in the bottom diagonals which start at the bottom like this the lower uh, minor diagonals so let's try and make the big one first four times one times one it's gonna give me equal it's gonna give me four Then 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times this is 0. 3 times 1, 3 times 1 is plus 3. This is major. This is a main. This is main um, diagonal. Subtract parentheses 
and then we're gonna go the minor one zero one and three it's gonna go zero one four four sixteen and then one one two it's gonna be just a two so sixteen seventeen eighteen four five six seven so it's gonna give me negative eleven that's my determinant for that uh, for this one Okay, we can also use the determinant to solve a linear systems. Uh, we can also do the calculate area and in uh, and inverting matrices. So let's try to do the equations first. determinants use them to solve linear system of equations and we also use it calculate area okay let's try this is my equation uh, my system of equation 3x minus 2y plus z equal negative 4 then i have negative x plus y minus z equal to then i have 2x minus y plus 2z equal 2. so how do we find a determinant how do we solve x y z there so i'm going to uh coefficient matrix this is called coefficient matrix because we use all the coefficient in the matrix this is called coefficient matrix so my coefficient is let's try three negative two one um and equal okay this is gonna go negative one one negative one and this one is two negative one and two this is my coefficient matrix so since i'm looking for a determinant which means the determinant of the linear system of equations is technically would give me those variables that we missing x, y, z in this case. So I'm picking the first two rows. Okay, this is uh, my coefficient matrix and I am going to find the determinants determinant for uh, for this matrix which will give me x y and z um, answers values so whenever we have a system of linear equations we can always use matrices to get the uh, determinant and which means it will give me x y and z values so take the first two columns this column and that column and copy and paste that's what we are doing negative one two negative two one and negative one so this is what we got for uh, for this matrix now i'm going to uh, try the determinants main in the minor ones so the main ones goes on the top like that so draw a line diagonally it's three times one and three times two is six so that i got six here then i have negative two negative one and two so two times two is four plus four then i have plus one subtract parentheses we're gonna go for the 
minus this one so 2 times 1 and 1 is 2 plus negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 times 3 is 3 plus um, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and positive 4 there you go so 6 4 is 10 11 subtract 4 5 6 7 8 9 11 subtract 9 and it's going to give me 2 so the determinant is 2 for that one so if you get determinant of a coefficient matrix is uh, means any number that uh, if we get the answer for like if you get the determinant of coefficient matrix any value then we call this a unique solution if determinant is zero then we call it no solution so this is how do you define the determinants of three by three matrix now how do we find the area let's find the area so for example I have a equal positive negative half and I have a matrix 5 7 1 negative 5 negative 3 and 1 I got 2 negative 3 and 1 so let's take the first two because we are looking for a determinant again let's take the first two columns 5 negative 5 and 2 7 negative 3 and negative 3 now let's do the minor and uh, main and minor so that's main diagonals again it's gonna go oh, 5 ne 15 negative 15 and this half is gonna stay positive negative okay negative 15 then I go 7 times 2 is 14 plus 14 and this is gonna go negative and negative is positive 5 is 15 positive 15 minus parentheses now I'm gonna go the lower ones these are the lower ones 2 negative 3 1 is gonna give me negative 6 plus negative 3 1 5 is negative 15 plus 1 negative 5 and 1 is negative 5 so let's fix it around positive negative half uh, negative 15 and positive 15 they cancel out so I'm left with 14 minus then I have negative 6 minus 15 minus 5 so 15 times 5 is 20 and this is, uh, um, is this 6 15 and that this is 7 so negative 35 actually that's 35 sorry about that guys it's 1 negative 5 and 7 so negative 7 times 5 is negative 30 5 times 1 is the negative 35 so this is what I got now I'll solve this I'm gonna get 14 and subtract negative 56 and again I still have that positive negative half equal equal so this is gonna give me 70 and half positive negative so when you multiply uh, it's gonna give me 35 so area is equal 35 now we know I'm picking positive 35 because area is always always going to be uh, has to be positive if you get uh, if you would get like negative 70 then multiply by negative half like for example if my answer was right here negative 70 then I have to multiply by negative half so it will give me positive answer since this is positive I'm gonna multiply with positive so I can get the positive answer which is because the area is always positive okay if you guys have any questions please comment below and i will try my best to answer